really don't have too many questions about the running back position, but you got guys like Miles Sanders, Boston Scott. You have Corey Clement that's coming back and hasn't really been healthy since 2017. You got a pair of bruiser backs and Michael Warren from Cincinnati and Elijah Holyfield that just signed on this roster at the end of last season. But one guy I do want to talk about is Adrian Killens from UCF, okay? Undrafted, never invited to the combine, 168 pounds. He runs pretty much a 3.1. I said it, a 3.1. I'm saying that because that guy is fast. I'm not talking about just fast, but Adrian Killens, people were messaging me nonstop. I did a reaction video if you want to check down the video below. It was amazing seeing him run in open space. And he was one of three running backs. I think he was pretty much the third string running back. I forgot the two other running backs, but he was the third string running back for UCF. And they put him on plays where they would just run him to the outside or, you know, if they felt like the, de the defense was spread out, they would put him pretty much right up the gut. And when he got open space, oh man, track star. I mean, <laughs> you really got to see it to believe it. But are we overhyping Adrian Killens right now because I don't want this to be like another situation where we have a running back with a lot of speed has less weight and you know not really going to do much I would like to see Adrian Killens you know what if he doesn't make the active roster you put him on the shelf you put him on special teams but there was some rumor around that he gained about 10 pounds so hopefully that's true but at the same time you really got to figure out, man, you would love this kid to be on punt returns or kick returns or something. Because I know we've had, in the past, we had Wendell Small and Corey Clement. My, I don't want Miles Sanders getting kick returns at all. Like, I want him to just stick to his position, you know, and, and whatever he's got to do, he's got to do. I just want him to stay at one position. I don't want him getting hurt, taking a big hit at kick return or whatever the hell he's doing. But to see Adrian Killens on the field and just getting those extra yards when he has open space... He is already deadly, but the problem is the difference between Adrian Killens and Boston Scott and Darren Sproles is that Boston Scott and Darren Sproles have big lower bodies. Adrian Killens is just a frail guy all the way down the line. You could pretty much see that. So hopefully putting on some weight and having a big chip on his shoulder. He said he has a big chip on his shoulder. He didn't get, he didn't, he didn't get invited to the combine. He didn't get invited to a damn thing. And I don't think anyone really cared about him. But the Eagles picked him up and all the Eagles fans were raving at me on this channel about it. And I had to watch this for myself. But seriously, guys, what player have I have I really overhyped? I mean, do I really overhype a certain player? Because theoretically... Donnell Pumphrey, they've been putting him in the slot. Uh, a guy that came to the Eagles with a pedigree from college. He broke the NCAA all-purpose yard record. Broke Marshall Falk's all-purpose yard record. Um, uh, I, it's... Anyway, <laughs> yeah, you didn't see that. But seriously, guys, in all seriousness, I really hope that he becomes a gold mine. I really do, because I hate when these undrafted guys come through you know you have guys like tj edwards at linebacker you know that's showing a lot of promise but you know he's not there yet but he needs to get on the field i need these guys to get on the field and adrian killens he has great feet great vision and to be honest with you no one can catch this guy at all and it's amazing to watch him run with the football he can catch the football in open space he can pretty much do it all but when it really comes down to it he needs to get in those pads. We need to see what he does in preseason, and I need to see him on special teams because he can be a running back on the shelf waiting in case of injury. <laughs> God forbid. But down the line, we will see what happens. And I want to see what you guys think about Adrian Killens. Is he overhyped? Do you think he's going to still weigh too less to even play in the NFL? Or do you think... You know, he'll make this team and, and be on special teams, if not on the active roster. I really don't see him on the active roster, guys. I honestly see him playing special teams and doing a good job at doing that only, and that's it, unless we really need him. So let me know in the comment section below what you guys think about this. I will see you guys later. Shake squad up. Fly, I'll fly.